Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Hibernate in Eclipse. So I love to-do lists. So the first thing we're going to do is create an Eclipse project. Then I'll show you how to download the Hibernate files. Next, we'll download the MySQL JDBC driver. And then we'll pull it all together by adding these jar files to the Eclipse project. And in particular, we're going to add it to the Eclipse project's build path. Now it's always really important to get your project set up properly. And so I'll go through all the steps required to get this working uh, in Eclipse. So we have a lot of good stuff in store. Let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so let's go ahead and move into Eclipse. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is actually change my perspective. Uh, currently right now I'm using the Java EE perspective and I wanna change it. So I'll simply go to Window, Perspective, open perspective and choose Java. Now you may not have to do this, but I normally, I'm always in the Java EE perspective and I like to change over to just the normal Java perspective. And then I'll close off some of these windows here on the far right. Alrighty, good. So now the first thing I wanna do here is create a new project. So I go to file, new Java project. And the project name I'll give here, I'll call it Hibernate Tutorial. Just keep it simple, short and sweet. <laughs> and uh, once you're happy with that, go ahead and click the finish button. Okay, great. So now we have a very basic project. Uh, nothing's there. Uh, we need to go ahead and do some uh, housekeeping work here. So the first thing I want to do is create a new folder. So I'll simply right click on my project. I'll say new folder. And this folder, the name I'll give is lib, L-I-B. And then I'll go ahead and hit finish. So this is just an empty folder right now. Uh, we're going to add our Hibernate jar files and also our JDBC jar files to this folder. But right now we just, you know, set up some stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and do some downloading. So let's swing over here, move over to Firefox. Let's go visit Hibernate's website at hibernate.org. All right, so once you're at Hibernate's website, uh, there's a section here called Hibernate ORM, the Object to Relational Mapping Framework. Uh, go ahead and click the More button to go to the actual ORM page. And once we're here, then there's a nice green button here called Download. All right, so we're gonna download Hibernate 5, which is the latest and greatest version. All right, so I'll select the link here and then it'll actually start the process of downloading. So I'll hit save file and the, the uh, download will start. Now, this is a, a big jar file. It'll take a while uh, depending on your internet speed. Uh, so I'll go ahead and step away and I'll come back once the download is complete. All right, so our download's complete. We have this file uh, here on our system. So in my downloads directory, I have this hibernate release. We can go ahead and extract this file. All right, so once it's extracted, we have this folder that'll have all of our information inside of it. So I'll go ahead and expand this folder here for a second. And there's a lib directory. So this is where all of the Hibernate jar files reside. So I'll go ahead and expand this lib directory. And inside of the lib directory, there's a number of folders, but we'll start with the first one here called required. So these are all of the jar files that are required as a bare minimum for you to use Hibernate. So I'll go ahead and select all of these files and I'll copy them. So I'll select them all, do a right click and choose copy. And then what I'll do is I'll swing back over to Eclipse and I'll move to that lib folder that I created in Eclipse and I'll paste these files. So back in Eclipse, lib, I'll do a right click and I'll choose paste. All right, so if I expand the lib folder, okay, great, good stuff here. So I actually have those jar files over here uh, in Eclipse. All right, and so as you know, Hibernate makes use of JDBC in the background, and we're talking to MySQL. So we need to actually get the JDBC driver for MySQL and also add it to our project. So let me go ahead and open up a browser here. Uh, let me go to the MySQL website, dev.mysql.com. And once you're at the website, they have a link here for downloads. And then we want to choose the community link. 
So that's the second one from the left here. Yep, that one right there. Okay, cool. So now we're on the community page. Uh, we want to scroll down a bit on this page and we want to find the connectors. So MySQL connectors. So these are basically the connectors that allow you to connect to uh, MySQL for a lot of different languages here. So we'll select this link here. And again, they have all the different languages for like ODBC.net, so on and so forth. We want to use connector J. So that those, those are the uh, connectors here for Java. And actually these are the JDBC drivers. All right. So I'll just scroll down on this list here uh, for the platform. Make sure you have platform independent selected in that drop down list. And then down in the bottom right here, we're going to select the uh, platform in the independent zip file. And I'll just hit the download link for that. Now on this website, they'll, they'll ask you to log in, but there's no requirement for logging in. Um, <laughs> just use the item here on the bottom left. No thanks. Just start my download and they'll start your download without you having to log in or anything, which is really cool. All right. So our browser will prompt us. We'll hit OK. And then our JDBC driver will start downloading. It's actually really quick. It's already downloaded by now. So now I can simply move back over to my file system. Click on the uh, downloads folder, and then there's my new uh, file that was just downloaded, the MySQL connector java.zip. And I can simply double click this file to extract it or unzip it. Okay, great. And this is really simple. There's only one jar file. Uh, they make it really easy here. So MySQL connector java uh, dot jar. You simply select that file, right click it, and choose copy. And again, we'll do the same drill, right? We'll simply swing back over to Eclipse and we'll paste this file into the lib directory. All right, great. So at the bottom here, we should have this new jar file that was just uh, copied over. So that looks good so far. All right, so we have one last step that's very important. We actually have to add these jar files to the project's class path. You do that by setting the properties here. So I'll simply do a right click on my project and I'll choose properties. It's the last item there at the bottom. And once this dialog pops up, you want to choose the item on the left for Java build path. And now here in the center, you want to check the little tab uh, for libraries. And now what we're going to do is actually add some libraries or add some jar files here. So there's a button here called add jars. And this will give us our, our project name, Hibernate Tutorial expand the lib directory. And these are all those jar files that we just copied over. So just make sure you just kind of shift click and highlight all of those jar files. And those are the ones that we're going to add to this uh, Java build path, effectively adding it to our class path. So we hit OK. And so now we should have those all listed here uh, for this project. So this looks really good. And go and click on the OK button. Now, over in our project, we have this new item here called reference libraries. So these are all the jar files that are on your class path. And so these should be the same list of jar files that you have listed uh, in your lib directory. So this looks really good so far. So we're in good shape. So we've uh, set up an Eclipse project. We downloaded the Hibernate files. We downloaded the MySQL JDBC driver and we added them to our class path. So we're in good shape right now and um, everything is set up and uh, we can start coding. And so we'll start doing that uh, in the next set of videos. So I'll see you then. Woo hoo.